President Biden gave the order yesterday to send troops to help evacuate U.S. embassy personnel. He maintains the decision to begin a final withdrawal from Afghanistan earlier this year was the right one. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Weijia Jiang is at the White House. Weijia, what is the president saying about this latest move? Good morning, Vlad. President Biden hasn't made any remarks about the evacuation, the details of which were unfolding just as he was delivering a speech about prescription drug prices. Earlier this week, though, the president stood by his decision to pull U.S. troops out of Afghanistan by the end of this month, insisting Afghan forces must fight for themselves. Afghan diplomatic sources told CBS News sending 3,000 troops to help American diplomats evacuate on military planes sends a signal that the Afghan government is weak. That could already be having a broader impact with reports that Canada is closing its embassy in Kabul. The fall of the city of Ghazni went Wednesday launched the U.S. plan into motion because of the city's close proximity to Kabul. Republicans are pouncing. Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney tweeted, America's enemies know that the slogan ending endless war actually means unconditional surrender. And South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham said all of this is a result of President Biden believing he knows more than his military advisors. When it comes to Afghanistan, the worst is yet to come. The State Department said diplomatic work will continue. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has requested an all-members briefing on Afghanistan for the week of August 23rd when the House is back in session. Vlad. All right, Weijia, thank you very much.